Welcome to a spiritual motivation where the dance of life unfurls in every flutter of a newborn bird's wings and in the industrious journey of bees. This narrative isn't just a tale of survival, but a sacred exploration of existence as the bird ascends to the skies mastering the elements and as bees craft the golden nectar of honey. We witness the divine choreography of the natural world each creature. Performing its role in the symphony of life, now let us elevate our gaze to the realm of human consciousness where our story transforms from mere survival to a profound spiritual quest humans, though integral to the cosmic drama are not destined to follow the animalistic path, solely many, however, remain ensnared in this primal pursuit, their true essence overshadowed by the ego's Deceptive dance embarking on the journey to awaken consciousness, we step beyond our instinctual roots into a pilgrimage of self-realization and spiritual awakening. This path beckons us to discover the divine harmony within and align with the universal melody of existence our CERN here is. Intentional a divine invitation to transcend our animalistic ancestry and resonate with the divine in the realm of the ego. We encounter a mosaic of personas reflections of the animal spirits that accompany us on our soul's evolutionary journey. This path has led us through the kingdoms of minerals, plants, and animals culminating in our human form. However, our true human essence often remains elusive hidden behind the legacy of our primal instincts while we navigate the earthly realm as humans our astral selves are. Intertwined with the essence of our ancient animal kin, this spiritual journey is a call to transformation leading us to shed these primal layers and unveil our true divine essence. The ancient wisdom of spirit animals acts as a gateway connecting us to the profound depths of our existence and teaching us the sacred language of our souls. This connection is mirrored in the folklore of our childhood where animals embody human-like sagacity symbolizing our inherent understanding of this spiritual voyage this introduction invites you to transcend to explore and to embrace the sacred narrative of our spiritual existence kindling a flame of curiosity and wonder as we journey through the tapestry of life inner journey it's crucial to recognize that while this truth resides in our internal worlds it remains at illusionary level within us these symbolic representations aren't meant to condemn our ego-driven animal nature but rather to shed light on the negative facets of our psychological states offering a fresh perspective on the ego it's not merely a mental automaton that resembles an animal more closely the essence of spiritual growth is in transforming or transmuting our deep ego-driven emotions into positive once through self-observation, self-reflection, and inner work, as we dissolve elements of our lower animal psyche, we give rise to a new elevated form of consciousness. This transformation is gradual requiring time just as recollecting past life memories does as children our inner potential to accept. Past life memories was significantly higher yet societal norms, cultural influences, parenting, educational. Systems and technology often lead children to focus predominantly on external stimuli, hindering the development of their inner senses moreover. With the onset of puberty, the forces of one's psyche and karma intensify, making it all too easy to lose our way. As we mature, this scenario is the reality. For 99% of people who cycle through numerous lifetimes oblivious to the true purpose of their existence, squandering time and energy on ephemeral pursuits like career ambitions, material acquisitions, relationships, social status, and sensual pleasures. While these aspects are integral to life, it is our attachment and identification with them that keeps our consciousness dormant, however, by shifting focus from the temporal horizontal dimension of life and directing it inward towards the vertical dimension of our being. We can start to shed light on our inner self and nature, thus beginning to attain self-knowledge. This self-awareness helps us unravel the reasons behind our unique psychological traits, the dramas of our lives, our desires and attachments, the nature of our relationships and our karmic paths. These elements are deeply connected to actions taken in our past lives, our karma, the sum of Internal psychological causes from previous existences shapes our current life to unlock memories of past lives. Understanding these two principles is essential understanding consciousness. Firstly, to truly grasp and reflect upon our existence both in meditation and daily life, we must accurately understand the current state of our consciousness picture. This we all possess consciousness in its most liberated, enlightened form. Our consciousness is pure light a divine spark embodying 100% pure essence deeply and intertwined with the highest realms of existence and insight. However, our current state is far from this ideal. 
we are not fully awakened for most people consciousness comprises merely 3% awakened essence, while a staggering 97% is engulfed by the ego we remain spiritually stagnant, unable to awaken our consciousness or recall our past lives primarily because we have yet to fully confront and understand our ego nature, our past lives remain obscured from memory as our slumbering consciousness is overshadowed by the ego dominating our perceptions, thoughts, emotions, and overall existence. It's essential to recognize that we are not demonizing the ego. It's not about casting it as a foe. Instead, our journey is to comprehend and transcend it, aiming for self-realization. Our egos reflecting the complex landscape of our psyche are the very reason we remain oblivious to our true identity, origins, and purpose. A clear understanding of these facets would unlock the memories of our past lives revealing our historical journeys, experiences, and the spiritual objectives we must pursue in the present condensing. The essence of our discussion to authentically dissolve the ego is to unlock the memories of our past lives. Our ego serves as a the vault for these memories entangled within unconscious psychological patterns yet to be unveiled. Let's delve deeper. The ego represents a distinct sense of self-composed of various psychological entities that dwell within the expansive domain of our inner world occupying the realms of our consciousness. These entities driven by their unique desires exert control rendering us unconscious and incessantly inject their negative narratives into our psychological realm perpetuating a cycle that spans days weeks years and even lifetimes egos embody more than just overly negative behaviors or socially condemned actions they include the subtle nuances of our psychology the minute and often unnoticed thoughts and feelings that permeate our daily existence these patterns even in their triviality manifest emotionally and mentally sometimes perceived as distinct personalities or entities in the astral realm in dreams these myriad individuals or creatures often symbolize the crowded assembly of our psyche appearing in such forms to represent the concealed aspects of our unconscious mind shrouded in ignorance and a lack of self-awareness as long as these hidden elements of our psyche remain obscured they persist within us continuing their existence unchallenged egos hidden power Let's take a journey deep inside ourselves where sometimes we find anger trying to take over. Making things dark and tense at home, this anger is like a bad energy that tries to control us and cause trouble with our family. It keeps coming back, showing us we need to learn more about ourselves. If we don't pay attention to it, this anger will keep showing up over and over in our lives. But when we really start to look inside and understand ourselves, we can shine a light on this anger and start to control it in the sacred pilgrimage of spiritual awakening one may confront this turbulent shadow in the ethereal realm encountering it as a creature a reflection or a doppelganger offering a golden opportunity to delve into its essence and extract enlightening revelations the journey to comprehend our ego transcends the mere acquisition of knowledge it beckons a deep introspective voyage into the self through the portal of meditation and reflection we embark on a quest to illuminate the obscured corridors of our unconscious Gradually dissolving the shackles that bind our lower nature picture the inner cosmos, a delicate sliver of essence, a mere 3% dimmed by the overwhelming 97% ego. Liberating even a fragment of our essence can ignite a profound awakening expanding our spiritual horizon, unlocking the dormant powers nestled within our soul, such as telepathy, clairvoyance, and the mystical art of astral projection, yet these Divine gifts are often overshadowed by the ego's cunning, which commandeers these spiritual faculties for its own worldly designs, casting a long shadow over our journey. and the collective consciousness, the ego flourishes on attachment, manipulating our sacred energies to weave its desires into the fabric of our reality, often leading to a labyrinth of suffering, confusion, and misplaced desires. This intricate dance forms the karma of the ego unfolding within the silent theater of our unconsciousness. Rather than condemning this shadowy aspect, we must embrace the responsibility to understand and integrate it, recognizing that our egos are intricately interwoven with our essence, our divine spark trapped within. The ego's grasp our essence lies dormant like a treasure awaiting liberation, the quest for spiritual. Ascension beckons us to navigate through the stormy seas of our inner world to reclaim our stolen treasures of the spirit, by shining the light of awareness into the hidden recesses of our being through dedicated self-observation and meditation, we set the stage for a transformative journey unlocking the doors to self-realization and the liberation of our true divine nature path to self-realization. So the essence of this teaching, which you might already sense through deep reflection, 
is that dissolving a specific cause of desire liberating a particular unconscious psychological pattern leads to true freedom and transcendence in doing so. We glean self-realization from this process and as a natural progression we begin to unlock memories of our past lives. This is because the ego or the part of the psyche we freed contains memories of its past life experiences and fulfilled desires in essence. Our egos are the reservoirs of our past life memories with this understanding of how our consciousness consisting of both ego and essence relates to our past lives. Let's explore the concepts of personality and the physical body each individual comprises an ego essence a physical body and a personality at the point of death it's the physical body and personality that cease to exist while the ego and essence transcend death migrating from one life to the next commonly we attribute our ego to our upbringing and childhood experiences but on a deeper more esoteric level our life's external manifestations are merely reflections of our internal karma Ideally, one might wish for the ego to perish with the physical body, yet it persists. The ego entwined with our essence is part of our being's eternal vertical dimension. However, it represents a conditioned negative facet of our eternal nature. This concept underpins the belief in eternal suffering, not as an unending state, but as a condition that persists as long as our ego and attachments do echoing the wisdom of ancient civilizations like the Egyptians achieving true eternal life necessitates learning to die before we die symbolizing the internal death of our ego our false sense of self we navigate through different lifetimes with the same egos what we leave behind in the grave are our personalities and physical body while our ego and essence continue within the non physical realm of consciousness threading through all our past personalities personality acts as the visible manifestation of our inner consciousness influenced by the varying conditions cultures appearances and sometimes gender of each new life our feelings towards these life conditions shape our external personality but the core our egos and essence remains constant albeit with potential shifts these shifts in our ego psychology can occur especially after experiencing significant pain or suffering or if there's a strong will to change consider a criminal from a past life who after facing severe repercussions yearns to avoid criminality in the next life this change reflects in his personality the surface layer of his existence yet this doesn't necessarily mean he has eradicated the underlying ego's incline towards crime despite a normal outward appearance he might still struggle with dark thoughts or temptations thus while his External persona may differ from his past, internally certain elements remain unchanged when someone passes away without achieving self-realization they typically reincarnate into a new life that aligns with their karmic needs continuing the cycle of spiritual evolution, life cinematic lessons we need to watch the moments in our lives closely like we're trying to figure out a movie if we don't understand the story of our life, we might end up living the same things over and over again. Remember what the wise man Socrates said, a life we don't think about is not worth living. A lot of people don't think deeply about their lives. They just blame others or things that happen around them. But thinking our problems are just caused by outside stuff is like being tricked by an illusion. Our expert experiences are shaped by karma. And this pattern keeps going in our lives until we notice and understand it. To get out of this cycle, we need to be really interested in looking at our lives closely. Just like Krishna said in the Bhagavad Gita, knowing ourselves deeply can burn away all our karma, our journey. Through life is often a repeat of past actions and feelings interacting with the same people during certain times, which is due to the LWO. Recurrence, what happens around us, just wakes up feelings and thoughts that are already inside us, our ego which is part of our deeper self uses our special abilities to make sure we come back to life again and again, playing out the same dramas. This is known as the law of return, and it keeps us in a cycle of living and dying over and over, which happens to most people. However, reincarnation is different. It's when someone who really understands life chooses to come back to life with a purpose, our ego can even use telepathy as a tool, for example. If someone's ego is looking for a fight, it will find someone else who's feeling the same way or two people meant to be together might find each other again in the next life at the same age they did before because of the ego's desires. This repeating pattern, the law of recurrence plays out like a movie pulling us into life's cyclical journey through the law of return, this cycle of living dying and being born again shown by the symbol of the Euroboros, a serpent eating its tail represents the endless loop of life and karma, the cause and effect that drives our existence. Time moves in circles, trapping us in the same patterns until we wake up our consciousness. Our life keeps repeating. 
because we're not fully aware and just going through the motions, but by looking inside ourselves and really understanding who we are. We can break this cycle, learn from our past, and make better choices now this deep self-awareness can open our minds and help us understand our past actions and how they affect our life today. By remembering our past lives, we can start a new journey slowly escaping them. Cycle of Repetition the Euroboros doesn't just show us this never-ending cycle. It also reminds us that we need to wake up our consciousness and move beyond living the same patterns over and over. Next, we'll explore some ways and practices that can help us remember our past lives and step out of this cycle.